So we got some good news, but it's gonna be a lot more work. We got up as much moisture as we could and hopefully we'll be able to salvage these floors. weeks ago we closed on our fixer upper if you have been following along then you have seen a full video showing what we started with and by the end of today's video you may not recognize this place so we really want to make this house into a home that fits our young family without stripping it of its character and its charm i really hope that this series on my channel can be inspiring informative and really overall just fun to watch so grab a cup of coffee or if you're like me tackle that pile of laundry folding Today we are diving into demo and I'm going to share what we have learned, some treasures that we have found, as well as the plans that we have to make this house into our home. And their furniture. Mm -hmm. Hey, this might give us good ideas of where to put stuff, honestly. We are going to be changing out most of the flooring in the entire house, but the first thing to go is definitely the carpet. And we started in the master bedroom where if y'all remember, it was teal. We also are gonna switch out the baseboards. So we took those out as well. The wall. <laughs> I know you guys have been very curious to hear what we're gonna do with this fireplace. We met with our contractor and talked it through a bit. We also had a very big discovery that it actually does work. And this, this is how, I'll show you right here. <laughs> Now we do think that this did at one point actually function as a wood burning stove and it was vented out the roof, but that has long been covered up. We would honestly probably keep it if we didn't have two young children who we were worried about having an ER trip with this. Oh yeah, and we found more carpet. So we got some good news, but it's gonna be a lot more work. Yep, we are scraping the ceilings. So some of you guys asked if we were planning to take off the popcorn ceiling and we definitely wanted to, but we were waiting to hear back from our asbestos testing and it came back negative. So that means a lot more work and we needed to dive into this project first because it creates such a mess that nothing else can happen while you're doing it. Well, they scrape ceiling. My job is to prep this room. We quickly learned that there is a right way to do this process and a wrong way. So we watched videos of people trying to scrape the popcorn off dry. Let me tell you, there is an easier way. So you'll notice that my parents are in most of this video. This project is actually joint between us and my parents. They actually purchased this home as an investment and we are renting it from them while we work together to fix it up. Dad's taking down this light. <laughs> Dad, what breaker was that one on? Garage door. Very far away from the garage, and this breaker was on the garage door switch, so it's your reminder to turn off the breaker. We have until March 1st in our current townhome, so the clock is ticking to get this space livable, and we have, as you can see, lots to do. You can see through this window one of our three arches in the front of the house, and that's something that we would like to carry into the rest of the house to make it more cohesive and really make it look a little bit more Spanish, so I'll include a little bit more of our design plans in today's video, but there will be an entire video probably coming out soon of our like Pinterest boards for this space. So the method that we found to work the best was spraying, I mean dousing the ceiling with vinegar mixed with water and then going in once it was just super wet and scraping it off. One person would be scraping and the other person would be doing the edging in here. That's what I was doing here. This technique worked really well to help preserve the drywall underneath so that we ideally don't have to patch too much or even apply texture because we would love to have a nice flat ceiling if possible. I don't know if I mentioned yet, but yeah, this process was messy. As you can see, it is caked onto this stool. And then our shoes literally had like platforms of two inches of like dried ceiling, making us two inches taller. We also learned that it was very important to leave the vinegar on there for at least five minutes before trying to scrape it off. This just allowed it to really soften up and prevented us from getting any gouges in the drywall itself. What are you most excited for, Gideon? Um, Daddy, take off the wallpaper. Mm, I'm excited for that too. <laughs> You're covered in paint. I know. Oh I man! Know. Look at the bathtub. <laughs> Do you like it? It's <laughs> clean. They're so funny. <laughs> 
I think we might have a hard time convincing him that we are going to update that bathroom a little bit, but it was pretty precious to see his reaction. We're so happy that he loves his new house. So while the guys continue to work on scraping the ceilings, we headed to Home Depot to look for some baseboards and some tile. So this one has first choice with the rounded edge on top. This is second choice with a more of a bead at the top. Yeah. This part is also thicker on this one, and this one is thinner, but this part is thicker. Yes. Which I My like, hands look so I think dirty. This will complement <laughs> what we already have in the house. It's going to remain. Yeah. The next time we went back to the house, I believe this was actually the following day. My parents had demoed the kitchen by taking out all the cabinets. They were very concerned about these cabinets because they were hanging on by a thread. Like they don't know how these actually stayed up full of plates and everything. And they even found a little bit more green in some green linoleum. Some of you were very concerned when I posted this on my Instagram, but if you'll notice in this room, something is missing and that is the hearth for the fireplace. We did decide to take it out just because because it just wasn't safe for our boys. And we do plan to do something with both the fireplace that we took out and creating a new fireplace as a focal point on this wall. So stay tuned. If you'll remember, we do have a drop ceiling in our kitchen and we are raising that up. We're doing the demo and then leaving the rest to our handyman. Gideon is in school today and my mother-in-law is taking care of Benjamin. So if you can see it through the window, we have a pile of stuff that is gonna be picked up, um, I think in a few days. Like the city does one big pickup in of having to purchase a dumpster we were able to just use the city so they'll just come with a big claw and pick it all up so we have to get everything out that we want to get picked up that's the plan for today look at this pile <laughs> cabinets carpet so much stuff tile is all in those bags it's goodbye carpet Probably a bit ironic that we walked into this surprise after just feeling super accomplished with that giant pile. So this is the floor we were keeping though. Oh, so pretty much what happened was just an honest mistake from us is that we forgot to turn off the water last night when we left for the night. Since we had demoed the kitchen, the kitchen faucet didn't have the off switch there. Step on it and bubbles of water just oozed out. And so over the night, even though it wasn't dripping when we left, it started dripping and then turning into a full stream. So my parents arrived about an hour before me and came into about two inches of standing water all through the kitchen, oozing into the dining room where we were planning on saving these floors. That means we have to take up this floor. <laughs> These floors aren't ones that we want to keep forever. They are a glue down LVP and we eventually want to put in tile, but not quite yet. Noise, I'm just gonna have to do a lot of voiceovers for this video, but we have two fans set up. We got up as much moisture as we could and hopefully we'll be able to salvage these floors. While that dried, we dove into taking out the linoleum in the kitchen. And let me tell you, this is rough work. I cannot take credit for really getting off like any of the linoleum. I jumped into taking off this wallpaper, which was super easy. I think it was actually contact paper because I didn't have to steam it or anything. You'll see soon in the other wallpaper that I demoed today that it was definitely not this easy. Next, I dove into taking off the baseboards around our family room where we have this panel, which I wasn't crazy about at the beginning, but I'm going to be repainting. And I think that those vertical lines are really going to help make the room feel a little bit taller. We have eight foot ceilings in here, which I guess is normal, but I'm used to, I guess, having taller ceilings. I want to implement some tricks that I've learned to help trick the eye to make the ceilings look a little bit taller and make the room just feel bigger in general. I have spent <laughs> like five minutes <laughs> trying to get this tiny piece of baseboard out. It's locked in there and there's a nail on top and my screwdriver doesn't fit in there and my hammer doesn't fit in there. Mm. So I just got the nail out that was holding it down, but now it's trapped still. <laughs> so if we need to cut it, forget it. It could go up the entire wall. Oh, maybe I bring it up the entire wall and then take it out above the trim. That's an idea. I got it. 
Originally, we were planning to put our floating floors on top of this glued down linoleum, but then once we started walking around on it more, we noticed that there were some spots that were starting to come up a little bit, and so we decided we needed to take the entire floor off here and this was a process as you can see that was just hard to get off one plank so i got off like five and my brother-in-law took over with the rest of those we had a little picnic lunch outside and then i headed inside for my afternoon project my project for the afternoon is this is beautiful does not quite my look so what i'll be using is a scoring tool a scraping tool vinegar and water I'll explain why it's really important to make little perforations in the wallpaper, but this little tool was very helpful because instead of using a putty knife, which can really damage the walls underneath, this just went into the paper. I was just doing all the scoring and was like, oh no, my steamer is not working. And then I looked down, it is working. If your wall has outlets on it, you definitely want to turn off the breaker here because it gets really wet and steamy and sticky and just really drippy and kind of messy. But as you can tell, it just comes off super easy just with about five seconds of holding that steam on there and it just like melts the glue. I had to turn off the steam machine because I think found like treasure in here. I think it's an old newspaper. I'm very confused what it is. I'll do a little close up. I think that it might be like a recipe because it says free cookie sheet. Um, November 27th, 1983. I don't know, that's pretty cool. It was just at the very bottom of this wallpaper stick, so I don't know, confused. Maybe I'll see more here, but I don't know why that would be there. I did test out not using the perforator or using the vinegar, and it did take a lot longer just because I think that it didn't melt the glue as quickly. So as you can see, there is not much left in this bathroom. When you guys saw it last, there was carpet in here, remember? And then the linoleum is still here. So this is part that we need to demo. So if you did see my empty house tour, we found out that there was a lot of water damage in this bathroom. And that was because they used drywall instead of cement board to tile this bathroom. So this shower stall was just constantly leaking into the adjoining wall. And so we definitely need to take that out and we were actually surprised that there wasn't as much damage to the studs as we thought there was going to be later that day my dad took out this vanity and took out the mirror and then got to work on some plumbing dad's just know it all especially my dad <laughs> you guys will see that he's just a jack of many trades i think that's the same we also decided we wanted to raise the ceiling in the shower stall so my dad got to work hammering that out We are so incredibly happy with the progress that we made in these five days now. My brother-in-law will be continuing to help us as well as our handyman and so hopefully some projects can start coming together and you can start seeing some transformation of these spaces because we are so, so excited for these things to be done and what we can get into this home. So I hope that you all will stick around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That just helps me out a whole lot. I am still figuring out how to film renovations videos and all YouTube videos in general so thank you all so much for your support and for watching we have lots more coming so please do stay tuned all right guys have a blessed week and I will see you in the next one we're going to a architectural cell wow <laughs> look at these Spanish ones in the middle there